Hi, I'm Sally and welcome to my channel where you find lots of pregnancy workouts. Today we're going to do a pregnancy bar workout. Every exercise is going to be 30 seconds long and you get three water breaks in between. If you're interested in free pregnancy workout plan, make sure that you click on the link below. Now let's get started. Place your feet further than hip distance apart. Place your hand onto the chair. Then go into a light squat, bring your arm up above you towards your chair, then lift yourself back up and bring your arm back to your side. Make sure that your toes and your knees point out to the side and your back is straight. We have three more, two more, and last one, beautiful. Now continue with your sumo squat and bring one hand towards your chest and then out to the side. Continue with your sumo squat, go low and up, low and up. When you go low, bring your arm towards your chair and when you go up, bring your arm out to the side. Continue. With your next squat, bring your arm down to the ground and then lift up to the sky. Touch the floor and then lift up to the sky. You can either touch the floor completely or just tap it with your fingers. And on your next tap, lift your heels up and then lower them. So lift your heels, lower, lift your heels, lower. Reach down, bring your arm up, down, reach up to the sky. Come on, continue a few more here. Last one and now hold, hold the sumo squat. Keep your heels lifted, reach your arm up to the sky. Your other hand rests on the chair just slightly. Don't hold on to it too tight and do little pulses here. Pulse, pulse, pulse. If this is too intense, come on a bit higher. If this is not intense enough, lower and go into a deeper squat. Come on, hold here. Hold the squat, now lower one heel, then the other. Alternate sides here. Lift one heel up, then the other. Your back is straight. Come a little bit deeper if you can. Relax your shoulders and enjoy. Feel the burn, come on. You're almost there. Three, two, one really is beautiful. Now bring your chair to the other side and we're going to do the same movements on the other side. Feel free to take a sip of water, bring your feet again further than hip distance apart, your toes point outwards, place one hand onto your chair just slightly, bring your shoulders back, relax your shoulders and then get ready for our sumo squat again. Take a deep inhale and then on your exhale, lower and lift back up, lower and lift back up. Reach towards your chair and then your arm back to the side. Go into a squat and lift, squat and lift, come on. Now bring your arm towards the chair, then out to the side. Lower and lift your arm towards the chair, out to the side. On your next squat, bring your arm down to the floor, then reach up to the sky. Tap your mat, lift. Now, at the same time, lift your heels, lower your heels. Lift and lower, reach down and up. Reach down and up. So when you reach down, your heels go up. When you reach up to the sky, your heels go down. We have three more, then we're going to hold the squat. Three, two, and last one, hold the squat. Come on, lift your heels a little bit higher. Do little pulses here. Pulse, 
pulse your arm reaches up to the sky, your other hand is on the chair. Pulse, bring your knees out. Go a little bit deeper if you can. If this is too intense, come on a bit higher. I know your legs are shaking and burning, but you can do it. Come on, let's alternate our heels. Lift one heel up and then back to the ground. Switch sides. Back stay straight. Squeeze your glutes. Come a bit deeper if you can. If this is too much, come a bit higher. Make sure that your arm is straight and have fun. Almost there, you have three, two, one, release. Bring your feet hip distance apart, form a W with your arms, and then try to bring your hands back and back and back and back. Your elbows and your shoulders stay still. Try to do the movement only in your lower arm. And with that, you're working your back and your shoulders, come on. Do not drop your arms, do a biceps curl in front of you, then a biceps curl on the side. Biceps curl and biceps curl. Make sure that your arms stay bent, do not extend them completely. And continue, do not drop your arms, come on, continue, don't get distracted. Bring your heels together, your heels touch, lift them up your, on your toes and then go into a plie and lift back up. Your arms form a W and then you're going to extend them up to the sky. If you notice that your heels are not touching, bring your feet further together and make sure that your heels stay glued together. Lift your heels even higher. Let's do last one here and then stay in the plie position. Heels are together and do little pulses with your arms. You're again in a W and you're bringing your fingertips out to the side and then back in out to the side. Little pulses here. If this is too intense, come a bit higher. If you can go deeper, go deeper. I know your legs are shaking. You're almost there. Three, two, one. Lift yourself up. Bring your arms out to the side, feet hip distance apart, then you're going to open your palms and then close them. Two pulses here and then two pulses there. Up and down. Open and close. Almost there, you have three, two, one. Release, beautiful. Now lean with your upper body forward, your back is straight, bring your arms behind you, arms are straight, palms are facing each other, and then bend your arms and extend them again. Bend and extend. If you can, lift your heels up, stay on your toes, and bend and extend. Again, make sure your back is straight, your head is an extension of your spine. You have two more here, and then stay here, Lower one heel and then the other. While you're alternating sides here, bring your arms back and then reach up to the sky. Back and reach up to the sky. Your legs are still hip distance apart. If this is too intense, come a bit higher. If that's not too intense, come a bit lower. You're almost there. You have three more, then you can release. Two more. And last one, nice work. Now take your chair and bring it again to the other side of your mat and feel free to drink a sip of water. When you're ready, place both hands on your chair, just slightly, bring your toes out to the side Heels touch, then lift your heels, and then we're gonna do our plies again. Lower, 
and lift. When you lower, your knees go out to the side, your back is straight, and one line with your hips and your head. We have three more, two, and last one. Now stay in this plie position and pulse your knees out to the side while you're in the plie. Your heels stay lifted, pulse out and out and out and out. Come on, push through, you're almost there. If it's too intense, come a bit higher, but push through, you've got this. Beautiful, stay in this plie position. We're going to tilt our pelvic floor back and then forward and back and forward. Heels stay lifted. On your inhale, you're going to tilt your pelvis back and on your exhale, you're going to tilt your pelvis forward. Do this exercise at your own pace. I know your legs are shaking, but you're almost there. Come on, three, two, one release nice work now step back with one leg and then come back up we're only going to do our lunges with one leg and then we're going to switch sides in a moment you have three more come on three two one, stay here, hold the lunge, then lift your front heel and lower it. Lift and lower. Do not hold on to the chair too much, just slightly rest your hands on the chair. Do not lean forward with your upper body. Come a little bit deeper if you can, if that's too intense, come a bit higher, come on. Last one. Beautiful. Now come on up and let's do lunges on the other side. Step back and then forward. Back and forward. Do not drop your knee completely, but your knee always stays slightly above the ground. Last one, now hold. Lift your heel and lower. Lift and lower. Again, make sure that you're not leaning forward. Upper body is stable and strong. Almost there, come on, three, two, Last one, beautiful. Come on up and now lean forward with your upper body. Extend your right leg, point your toes and then lift and lower your leg. Lift and lower. You can also place your elbows on your chair or just place your hands on the chair, whatever feels more comfortable for you. Last one. Now keep your leg lifted, then bend your leg and extend it. Bend and extend. Your left leg is slightly bent and your head is an extension of your spine. You can lift your leg higher for more intensity or lower it for less intensity. Now last exercise in this set, keep your leg bent, flex your foot and then do little pulses. Lift your leg and lower, lift and lower, but don't lower it completely. Little pulses here, come on, push through. I know your legs are shaking, but this is the last exercise in this set and then we're going to lower the leg.
Nice work. Lower your leg and come right into the lunge position. Bring your arms up above your head and then do a little pelvic floor tilts again. Bring your pelvic floor back and then forward. Back and forward. And if this is too intense, come a bit higher, but push through. I know you can do this. Come on. And release. Place your left hand on your chair, your right hand goes behind your back. Then lift your right knee towards your elbow and try that your elbow meets your knee. This is a great exercise for your obliques, which is super important to prevent any diastasis recti or to heal diastasis recti postpartum. And last one, beautiful. Place your feet hip distance apart, extend your arms out to the side and imagine you're pushing something away from you. Move with your torso from one side to the other. Your lower body stays still and strong, only your torso is moving, working your obliques here. And release. Take your chair and place it on the other side of the mat. Drink a sip of water if you need to. And then once you're ready, place your hands on the chair. Bring your upper body forward. Extend your left leg. Once the timer starts, lift your leg and lower. Lift and lower. This is a great exercise for your glutes. One side might be stronger than the other, but that's completely normal. Now bend your leg, then extend again. Bend and extend, bend and extend. Feel free to adjust your position if something feels uncomfortable. Make sure that you're not opening your hips, but that your hip stays parallel to the ground. On your next bend, keep your leg bent, flex your foot, and then do little pulses here. Pulse, pulse, pulse. Flex your foot. Remember that your head is an extension of your spine. I know your legs and glutes are burning, but you're almost there. Then we're going into our lunge position. You can release your leg and lower. Beautiful. Come into lunge position. Bring your arms up to the sky. And let's do our pelvic tilts. Tilt back and forward. Back and forward. If this is too intense, come a bit higher. If this is not intense enough, come lower. But make sure that you're not dropping your knee completely. Release, lift yourself back up, bring your feet hip distance apart, place your right hand on the chair, left hand behind your head, and let's do our side crunches. Bring your knee towards your elbow and work your obliques here. Last one, beautiful. Bring your arms out to the sides and push something away from you. Imagine something that's right there and you're trying to push it away. Only your torso is working here, your lower body stays strong.
You're doing such a great job. We're almost there. We only have two more exercises. Come into a Zumo squat, then lift your heels, lower them, and lift yourself back up. Lower, lift your heels, lower, and lift yourself back up. Do this exercise at your own pace. Make sure that your knees are pointing out to the side. You can place your hands on your hips or lift them up to the sky. You have a few more here. Then we have our last exercise, push through. Last one. Now stay in the Zumo squat. Bring both hands behind your head. Then move your torso to one side, back to center, and then to the other side. Your elbow is trying to touch your knee. Your lower body stays strong and stable. Only your upper body is moving here. Again, great exercise size for your obliques, but also for your glutes. We've got one more on each side and then we're gonna do our stretching. Beautiful, come on up. Place your right hand on the chair for balance, then grasp your left ankle and gently pull your heel up and back until you feel a nice stretch in the front of your thigh. Hold here. Now switch sides, place your right hand on your chair Grasp your other ankle, gently pull your heel up and back and feel a nice stretch in your thigh. Now extend both arms, grasp the fingertips of one hand, palms facing forward, and then pull your fingertips further toward you and feel a nice stretch in your biceps. And now switch sides, same thing on the other side. Now let's do a tricep stretch, an overhead tricep stretch on one side. And then switch sides, tricep stretch on the other side. Release. Now place both hands on your chair. Slightly bend your legs and place one ankle on top of your other knee. Sit back and feel a nice stretch in your glute. Switch sides, place your other ankle on your other knee and sit back, back is straight and enjoy the stretch. Beautiful, release. Step back with one leg into a lunge position. Try to go even further back. Drop your knee onto the mat and feel a nice stretch in your hip flexor. Switch sides. Do the hip flexor stretch on the other side. Make sure that your front knee is not in front of your front toes um, to not hurt your knees. Beautiful, come on back up. Then let's do a last stretch. Let's do a hamstring stretch. Place your heel in front of you on the mat. Your other leg is slightly bent. Lean forward and feel a nice stretch in your hamstring. Switch sides. Last few seconds. Mm -hmm. 
release. Beautiful work. This was a really tough workout, but you pushed through. Congratulations, you can be really proud of yourself. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you and your baby enjoyed this workout. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and remember to subscribe to my channel. See you next time. Bye.